Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Schmidt, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman Retired and Mrs. Ganey, Mr. McKinney, Command Sergeant Major and Mrs. Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, family members and friends of the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and Sergeant's Major Academy. Welcome to the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman's Dedication Ceremony. Our guest of honor for today's ceremony is the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman Retired Joe Ganey. The host for today's ceremony is the Commodore of the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and Sergeant's Major Academy, Command Sergeant Major Jason Schmidt. In attendance, we also welcome the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman Retired and Mrs. Ganey's daughter, Erin Law, their son-in-law, who is also a student of Class 72 here at the Sergeant's Major Academy, Master Sergeant Adam Law, their granddaughter, Maggie Roberts, and their grandson, Dash Roberts. Please rise for the invocation given by our very own student of Class 72, Master Sergeant David Costello. Please pray in your tradition, as I do in mine. Father, we honor you in this place by honoring C.F. Ganey. C.F. Ganey has devoted his life to building up others, and in the process, he has built leaders, families, communities, and our nation. Today, as we honor C.F. Ganey, I humbly ask that C.F. Ganey's legacy will continue on through these halls and walls. May his legacy of sacrificial service, humble leadership, and unfailing grit and grace inspire all who walk these halls to follow in his footsteps. How thankful we are for the gift of good leadership. Thank you for good leaders who invest in the leaders of tomorrow. And may we all lead with competent minds, compassionate hearts, and a backbone of unwavering character. We are indebted to you forever, O oh Lord, for your merciful gifts to us. In your most gracious name I pray, amen. Thank you, Dave, for that beautiful invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman's Dedication Wall was established on 1 August 2021 to recognize senior enlisted members from their respective service who have been selected by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff to assume the position of Sergeant, uh, Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman. On 1 October 2005, Command Sergeant Major Joe Ganey was the first ever senior enlisted member to serve in this prestigious position. After serving in this position for a period of two years, Command Sergeant Major Ganey retired after 33 and a half years of service, after serving at all levels of Command Sergeant Major position from battalion to corps. On 9 December 2019, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman position was designated with its own distinctive rank, SEAC. As a result of this change, the rank of SEAC was retroactively awarded to Command Sergeant Major Ganey, subsequently changing his rank from Command Sergeant Major to Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host for today's ceremony, the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and Sergeant's Major Academy Commandant, Command Sergeant Major Jason Schmidt. I'll tell you all a great good morning and it's a great day in the Borderlands and it's especially uh, good to see retired CIA Danny here. Um, I do have some prepared remarks, but I do just want to tell you it's, personally for me it's great, right? You know, I'm not a proponent C-centric guy, but when you look at some of the legends where, where I grew up in as a as a young airborne scout, right? It was guys like Command Sergeant Major Ganey back then and, and a lot of others that really paved the way for us to get to where we're at. So it's not only truly humbling for me to be able to, to participate this day with CN Ganey, but it's also a good day to bring back a lot of memories. Um, and also when you think through, right, as I started off this journey as a nominative Sergeant Major that I had no idea about, right? It wasn't just what he did while he was in the uniform. The, the, just the way that Sergeant Major Ganey and, and, and approaches things, right? He mentored me personally and took the time to come out 
and kind of walk me through the mental maze and the minefield of, of a whole different level of being a star major that I had no idea to do. So both personally, professionally, you know, the, the caliber, we know he's the sea act, very powerful person, but when you look at what he's done for the Mount Commission Officer Cohort, even years after he continues to do, it's truly profound and making an impact on us. But it was not a shock when uh, United States Marine Corps General Peter Pace selected SEAC Joe Ganey to become the first senior enlist advisor to the chairman. He knew he needed a seasoned soldier who understood the joint environment. Command Sergeant Major Joe Ganey had plenty of experience heading operations up like Joint Endeavor, Joint Guard, and Operation Joint Forge in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and then later as the Command Sergeant Major of Combined Task Force 7, Multinational Force Iraq, and Multinational Corps Iraq during OIF 2. At the time, he was a CSM for three corps and four hood. He was also a soldier soldier who deeply cared about the welfare of the troops. With all the street credibility that he carries, I think what really tipped the scale of selection out was the fact that he was a gunner and knew how to put steel on pole. In an article written in the NCO Journal in the summer of 2008, C.I. Ganey stated that once he was selected by General Peter Pace, Pace told him to get out there and tell him what's really going on, right? What most of us do be a sensor, a shooter, and an integrator for our commanders to find out what was on the hearts and minds of the young men and women serving in our military today. C.F. Ganey said that that was his words and that was his job and he would carry out that mission. Fortunately for us, and unfortunately for C.F. Ganey, there was no real job description, no foundation, no role, no history, nothing to guide him on how to get the job done. But like a true leader, he formulated, took advice, input, and he laid the groundwork for what these current CX have been going through and continue to do to solidify the position. In that same article, which is displayed on the wall over here next to me, he gave some advice to young non-commissioned officers. He said, you've got to make a decision in life. Are you going to be selfish or selfless? You can only be one of the two. You can't be in between. A selfless person is somebody that always puts their troops and soldiers before them. For 34 years, he had made did just that. He selflessly served the troops and made history at the same time being named the first senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It is only fitting that he was ret retroactively awarded the rank of SEAC, and it is also only fitting that we stand here today to humbly pay him and his family tribute for their selfless sacrifices to our Army and the nation for over 34 years. This SEAC hallway, like that of the SMA hallway in the North Foyer, will stand as a historical documentation of those who served in this noble position as a SEAC and will always be known as the first Seattle, Seattle Joe Game. Army Strong and old team. Cool. At this time, we invite Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman Gaining to join Command Sergeant Major Schmidt at the dedication wall for the purpose of unveiling your name. Please. to the Chairman, Retired Ganey, will present the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and Sergeant Major's Academy with a gift. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest of honor, the very first ever senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the title, Jeff Lee. Somebody's soldiers. So that's the first thing you do is make sure they didn't spend no money. So I got in touch with the organization and they donated to the soldiers. Why did I do that? Because what I could do is pay for them. Soldiers never bought me nothing and never will. Now I want to put something straight. Now I'm very proud of that rank. That rank was designed in 2005 by Command Sergeant Major on your wall, Dan Elder. And I want to give him credit for it. Nobody does. Dan Elder 
designed that range, designed, I think, those down, whatever this one, that's what he did. He designed this and he designed that, but it wasn't the right time. The sword majors of the army and the services were not ready for someone with a different rank. So you had to be smart enough, young people, to know to take it and put it on the shelf. And I, General Pace, was upset about it, but I said, you know, I need to establish a position, not a rank. And so 15 years later, I asked the second guy, he was reestablishing it because he wasn't replaced for a year. Then the, then the third guy came up and I asked him about it. And you have to know the audience. I knew he was a guy now. I knew him from an E4. I knew my man, John Wayne Trump, would get it done. And so he brought it out and they added the eagle and the stuff in the middle, which is a special touch. But I just want the public to say, give credit to Sergeant Major retired Dan Elder for designing that. And Commandant, I'm proud that you asked me to do this. I'm glad you put it here instead of my office because I kept tripping over it. And uh, just like a flag, I'm glad you, uh, many years ago, if I remember right, was it in you? Somebody like you came to my house and asked me, I think it was you, came to my house that I disinfected the furniture. I just left. <laughs> I asked if I would donate that flag, and I said, yes, I will. And I want you to know, I like what you did. See, in my mind, I thought it would be over there, but this is where it needs to be, right here. Job well done. Thinking out of the box. That's why I've always loved this guy, because he don't just think what's in front of him, he thinks out of the box. And I love that. I love that. And the flag there, before I leave today, I need to, for you can't open it, if I can look at it. There, that's the very first original flag. You're going to say, how do you know that? I'm not going to tell you. Because the guys that gave it, designed it, showed me the mark on that it shows it's number one or number two. And I always check to make sure that I can what Lori said, he stole it and replaced it. So I always check to make sure it's still number one. I'm sorry, I'm not that old trust you. I trust you. Me and I do. I think that's it. But I would go back to the Lori still comes up here, right? So I made some Lori come up here? Yes. Yeah. So I need to check and make sure he's still number one of number two. And thank you for allowing me to have this here. Thank you for this. And thank you for the war. I mean, and in close what I'm going to say, that's one thing I've always told people, and I want everybody here to remember it. It ain't, it's not where you sit, I'm about to say, and. it's not where we, it's not where you sit that makes you important. It's what you do for others to get you, to get them to put you there. Not sure. That's what makes you important to you and I. Good job. Okay? And remember, the flight's been taken. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this concludes the dedication ceremony. Please feel free to join us for refreshments. Uh, Altima Strong. See you, Joe Ganey. This is a very special day today. Tell me a little bit of what this, how this makes you feel. Well, it makes me feel great because I get to see you. No, I really, I remember last time, what, 14 years ago, if right. I remember, you came to the house. But this is a big moment, this is for me, it's for everyone on this wall. Being recognized for their hard work. So it's about the wall, it ain't about me. But as the first, you kind of set the standard for the SEAC and everything. Tell me about the position itself and how it made you feel those two years that you were serving going across the world talking to all the different services. Well, the position was unique because my office was a, just a quadrant with a folding desk. <laughs> True story, remind me of the first Sergeant Major in the Army who said his office was a bathroom. Uh, and General Peter Pace came in and saw it and said, no way. And he gave up his desk, his furniture, and his old office. So I knew that he depended on me to do what was right. So I went out and I basically just found out the needs of the soldiers. How's it feel to be back at your alma mater? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fort, class 41. Who up? <laughs> no, but no, it feels good. And he, I got a briefing while I go, and you are in good hands. Thinking about uh, the uh, future of the Sergeant Major Academy and now with the degree granting institution that we are, tell us a little bit about what 
you, what you see in the new uh, Sergeant Majors coming out today? Well, well, like I told the Commandant, it's nowhere but to go higher and higher and higher. Mm -hmm. I just hope the students understand how fortunate they are to be in here. You know, it's very blessed to be at the high the top of the mountain. Now, do something with what you're taught. See ya, Ganey. It's always a pleasure. Take care of yourself. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Still thought we'd.